Hey, what's going on, Stream Kids? This is Rob with liveaquatics.com coming to you live on the Cryptic Riff channel. Uh, Mike's behind the camera. We got a huge unboxing here at Flip Aquatics. We're going to get some fish out. We got some really unique stuff. So, Mike's going to capture it first. I'm going to share this to all of my subscribers. So, if you guys are one of my subscribers, shout out to you for checking out Mike's channel and don't forget to subscribe. So, you guys sit back and enjoy the video. What do we got in box number one? All right, box number one looks like we got reticulated hillstream loaches. And then they actually all look good. I don't see any Yeah, they look ones. real good. That's a good thing. Let's see what else we got. We got one of these Siamese flying fox. So they actually have a lot more color than that. They're just stressed out from shipping. Oh yeah, they'll look good tomorrow. You know where they're going? Perfect. And then these guys, I'm guessing some type of tetra. I don't uh, see the label. Oh, there it right is. There. Green Kaboti Rasbora, actually. Oh, all right. We got one floater, not bad. Not bad, good. And then last but not least for box number one. Ooh, let me take a guess on these. Oh, those are the, the Killies. Oh, those are the Clown Killies? The Clown Killies. Which there's no, I don't think there's a label on this one, is there? I don't. Oh, there it is. Clown Killies, yep. Dude, those look awesome. Sweet. All right, well, let's, we'll set these in the tank and we'll go to box number two. Box number two. All right, let's do it. Looks like we got nearite snails, nearite snails, and a ton of rasboras. Let's see. What are these guys? It might uh, be Tetras. The Toucan Tetra. Oh, those are pretty. We've never had these before, so these are a new one. Super cold, so we're gonna get those acclimated. Let's see, I'm guessing these are all the same. I don't know, more toucan tutras? Yeah, or tetras? Tetras. Tutras. Rob Butcher words again. Toucan tutras. <laughs> That's how you say it, ladies and gentlemen. Some more clown killies. Dude, those look awesome. Oh yeah, no it's hard to see them in the bag. I thought you would. I picked, I picked them all out there, Marcus, with the help of the subscribers. More clown killies. Man, they pack them like 13 in a bag. Yeah, they don't put many. No, no, I'm guessing this is more clown killies. Check them babies out. Yeah. Oh, there's some that are actually colored up in there. Look at that guy right there. They look really wow. good. Yeah. These guys are going to look really good tomorrow. Check those out. All right. We'll get these guys floating. We'll go to box three. All right. Box number three. Ooh. We got a lot of tape in there. We got a special blade in case we get on. <laughs> we got, we got my man Matt Radical Reefs in the house. What's up, buddy? Look at this, this looks like salt water. Salt water? Some salt. Let's see, are these salt? Ooh, look at these guys. These don't look salt. Panda Gar right here. Well, all I'm doing all. good. We got some Panda Gara. And we got salt water. Salt water, salt water, and we, we don't keep none of this no. salt water scrubs. Yeah, stuff. salt water scrubs. <laughs> yep, rest of yeah. it's salt water. Here we go. That's it for the box number three. Box number four out of, is this four out of four? No, this is four out of six. How many do we have left? Four out of seven, four out of seven. We still have all those to open over there? Yeah, those are all ones we need to open. Guys, this was a monster fish order for us. Ooh, red honey grommies. Oh, check oh. those out. Those guys are looking good. Those red honeys? No, they're, yeah, red honey yeah. grommies. Dude, those are awesome. They're big too. Yeah, they are. Look good. These guys, some of them don't look too happy. Let's see. Celestial Pearl Danios, yeah. Yeah, those ones don't ship that well sometimes. Sometimes the stress gets to them. Yeah, there's a couple floaters in there, unfortunately. Especially when they're shipped in large quantities like that. Let's see, what do we got? Blue Neon, I don't even know how to say that. Stephendon Gobi? Throw all males, check those out. Yeah, blue, blue Neon Gobies, we'll just go blue, with that. <laughs> blue Neon Gobies. <laughs> cool little suckers. And what do we got here? Siamese Flying Fox Fish. These are a little bit more colored up than the last ones. They don't look too bad, though. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's get them in the tanks. Let me know when you're filming. 
Oh, we're filming. Oh, dude. you're filming? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to make an appearance on the camera. You know, it is my <laughs> channel. But uh, this box is I mean, not, not, not too exciting. It's all nearite snails. We got a ton of them. So uh, I'm going to stick these in the tank real quick. Box number six, right? Yep. One more to six. go. We got one more to go. And uh, we can actually. I wish they bagged them more in a bag. I know, I don't know why they waste so much room, yeah. but whatever. We're gonna stick these ones up top. Amanda's on camera too. Check that out. My hot wife on Mike's channel. Mike, you're gonna get to a thousand subscribers just on this video. Oh, is it? What? No, let's say you have a hot wife on PG13. I mean, it's, it's your wife. It's, it's only it's my wife. Well, you can't be saying it. That'd be in Well, I would never say that. <laughs> box, box number six. The seven, box seven. Seven, seven. The last one was six. What do we got yeah. here? We got thread fin rainbows. Those guys actually look, oh my gosh. They're big, man. They're beautiful. Wow. Probably. Yeah, I think they're all males. Then these are the orange Von Rio Tetras. They look pretty good. There's no floaters or nothing. Well, we got a weaker. We got a leaker. Another bag of the orange Vons. Yeah, this bag is leaking. What do we got here? Pygmy quarries. Yep, more pygmy quarries. That's nice they bagged them like that. Yeah. Looks like there's some kind of netting in there. See that? That's funny. That's weird. That's it for box number seven. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get these guys floated, get them temperature acclimated, and I'll catch up with you guys once we got them in the tank. So, we got everything into the tanks, we got all the fish, uh, we floated them for about a half hour, 45 minutes, and we started uh, dropping them into the tanks. And uh, one thing we do not do is, and you really don't wanna do it whenever you buy fish somewhere, whatever, because you don't know what's in the water that they come from. So, simplest way to do it is just to pour them into a net let the water strain into a bucket, the sink, whatever it may be. If it's the sink, make sure there's no way for them, if you accidentally miss the net, for them to go down the drain. <laughs> um, but we got all the fish in, we got the, the red honey grammies, we got the orange bomb Rio Tetras, the Hillstream loaches. So I mean, we got it all in, everything's still a little bit stressed from the shipping. So we're gonna actually let them sit overnight and uh, we'll let them color up, we'll come back to it first thing in the morning when I get here. And uh, once the lights turn on, and we will go through the tanks, I'll show you guys everything of what we got and how it looks. So what is going on, everybody? We are back. It is Friday morning. And I apologize if I look weird in this video. It's, I don't have my glasses on. I have contacts in. I hardly ever wear them, but I decided I paid for them. I might as well wear them. So I just decided to start wearing my contacts. So I apologize if I look a little weird. Um, but it is Friday morning. I got my coffee. We are back at the shop and all the fish are looking good. The CPDs are, uh, they, we had a few, we had a few losses there, but of course CPDs um, never come in well. They never ship well <clears throat> um, from where we get them. So, but check this out guys, check this out. Look at these neon Tetras. Look how beautiful, let me turn the camera around. Yeah, check these guys out, man. They really, this is another reason why I wanted to come back uh, to this video the next morning because these guys colored up beautifully. I mean, it's just wow. And it's beautiful to see them all just kind of school together. And uh, it, I mean, these guys are just crazy. But if we go down, we got some mirror reservoirs there, but we got the thread fin rainbows or rainbow thread fins, however you want to say it. And these guys are just, I mean, they're gorgeous. Excuse the allergy, that's actually on the back side of the glass. It's on the outside of the tank somehow. Um, I don't know if it just managed to get out, <laughs> get like, I don't know, scraped down the back and it dried there or whatever. But I mean, these guys are gorgeous. Beautiful, and then all the Pandagara in here. I mean, these guys are just awesome. They all did well, no losses there. And then we'll come here and we got the Toucan Tetras. And these guys colored up really well. 
and I've never seen these in person before, but these guys are actually, I mean, I, I think their color is beautiful. They got that like black stripe going on their body. They got the orange on their head. I mean, these guys are really pretty. So there's those. And then check this out, guys. Check out, and there's a, there's a lot of bull crap in this tank. I can't siphon it because there's so many babies, but there was carbon reallys in here with these albino mystery snails and they bred like crazy. I think there were six in here to start out and they bred like crazy. I mean, there's babies everywhere. And of course, it's hard to see them. Oh, look at the, the fake plant. Look at that prawn. There's a prawn in there too. But I mean, look at, look at the plants in there. They're all over it. I mean, it's nuts how many carbon reallys are in here. So we haven't really touched them. You know, we just, we just do water changes on it um, as we would with anything else. And uh, we let them go. We got some empty tanks, empty tanks. We come here and we have the gold white clouds and the Siamese flying foxes. And we got some green beans. If you guys see the green beans in the tank, it's uh, for the algae eaters and stuff. Uh, we do feed a lot of green beans here just because it's a great source of uh, nutrients for the algae eaters, for the plecos, for the snails, and they love it. They eat the green beans, they eat cucumber, zucchini, they absolutely love it. So, I mean, these guys are looking great. There's no losses. I mean, these guys are awesome. I, I know you can see the reflection in the bottom of the tank. That's the only thing that sucks about a bare bottom tank. But it's simpler for us here just to have bare bottom. And uh, we put some fake plants in there to give the uh, the white clouds just a little source of, uh, of security. But I mean, these guys look great, colored up beautifully. And uh, we'll hit the next row, but check out these blood fins we have. These are the glass, glass blood fin tetras. And these guys are awesome, man. These guys are phenomenal. And excuse the dirty tanks. Um, we just been so busy around here. And I don't know if anybody has showed this and by anybody, I mean me and Rob, but this is just a massive pleco tank. And there's some, there's some, you know, random fish in here. There's a scissor tails. There's two black neons. Uh, I don't know what that one is. There's some regular neon tetras in there. There's a CPD in there. Just stuff that like, I mean, this is like a retirement village, honestly, for some fish, but there are these super, super red bristle nose. There's some long fins in here, but let me see if I can find a baby to show you guys. I mean, these guys are, oh, there's a, there's a little cat in there. I don't know if that's a Hebrosis or not, because he's bigger than a Hebrosis is. So I'm not sure what he is, but uh, that's Retirement Village. There's this guy in there. Of course, he's the only one that we have of that color or that type. Um, let me see if there's not, oh, there's a baby. Let me adjust the camera here. But there's a baby on the glass. There's one munching on a green bean down there. And I mean, it's they're hard to see, but there are babies all over this tank, guys. So this tank just runs off of a, a hang on the back a sponge filter, there's a heater in there to keep it warm. And uh, there's a high tech planet tank system. And these things are looking awesome, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't I can't wait to see how this system goes. Um, I mean, cause these things are, these are looking great. Then there's that Trident Java firm we're trying to bring back it's looking a little bit better than it has, so hopefully it continues to bounce back. But the, you got some Rotala magenta up here, some uh, narrow leaf chain sword, some dwarf hair grass right there. And this dwarf hair grass we actually got in and um, a while ago, and it, it started to die. See the brown on the tops? It actually started to die, and uh, we stuck it in here, and it has bounced back amazingly. So, but enough of that, enough of that. We'll get back to the new fish. So we got the red honey garamis and seeing these guys in this tank, I'm actually falling in love with the dwarf garamis again. I used to keep uh, some dwarf garamis 
Um, it's just, they, they didn't work out, but it's making me want to do a tank with Dwarf Garamis again because these guys are just awesome. You know, get like a couple different uh, types of Dwarf Garamis. I don't know. But these guys, guys, check these out. These are the Orange Vaughn Rio Tetras. And look at these. They're beautiful. Absolutely no losses. Look at this guy right up against the glass. They're absolutely beautiful, as well as the Hillstream loaches. Look at the pattern on some of those guys. I mean, they're awesome. No losses. This guy's hanging out on the glass. There's some green beans in there to munch on. It looks like they haven't even really touched them, which could just be from the stress of shipping. But uh, we'll leave them in there a little bit longer and see if they uh, take to them. If not, we'll toss some kelp, kelp wafers in there or something to see if they take to those. But I mean, these guys are beautiful. Makes me want to keep some of, keep some at my house, but we know if we set up another tank, uh, my dad will my dad will probably kick me out of the house. <laughs> and then these are the green Kabotai Resboras. I, I know I probably just butchered that, but these guys don't have a color, a ton of color to them. I wish you could get the camera to focus in on them, but just so we only had like one or two losses in this tank from uh, them coming in. I mean, these guys are these guys are really pretty. If I can get the camera to focus. I don't know if it will or not. Usually it's my phone, so it auto focuses. It might just be because of the bright light. But uh, I mean, these guys are these guys are looking really good. That the smaller the fish, the harder it is to see them, honestly. But these guys look really good. Of course, some more fake plants in there just to give them a sense of security. And uh, that's it, guys. So, at the wrap of day two, we get a little drink of my coffee here. You know, gotta start the day off right. Mmm, that Dunkin' Donuts, made fresh every morning. Well, I make it fresh. I, I buy it at the, the coffee grounds at the store and bring it here. But uh, at the end of the day, guys, not a bad fish order. We got some really cool stuff in this time, and it was really cool to really change up what we bring in besides our staples. I mean, because normally our staples are like, you know, CPDs, gold neon tetras, um, scarlet battas, ember tetras, stuff like that. But to actually bring in like the thread fins, the, the orange Von Rio tetras, the toucan tetras, the green kabotais, even the dwarf honey, red honey grommies. Like I never thought we would bring in fish like this. And it's all due to, um, the subscribers that watched Rob's live stream on Wednesday of this week and gave him suggestions of fish that they might want to see us keep and sell here. So at the end of the day, the subscribers are what influence what we bring in. So if you guys have any suggestions on fish you might want to see us bring in that you'd be interested in, uh, you can see the bear rack behind me. If you guys have any suggestions on fish that you might want to see us bring in, uh, fish that you can't find somewhere that maybe we can see if we can get it in and uh, quarantine it and then, you know, be happy to sell it on the website, drop it down in the comments below because we love to hear from you guys. I love to hear from you guys and I love feedback, whether it's negative, positive, no matter what it is, guys, I love feedback and you're never going to hurt my feelings. So, at the end of day two, well, I guess it don't sound right. It's the beginning of day two. So, um, I'm going to feed these guys some live baby brine. Oh, my gosh. I completely forgot about this. I completely forgot. And I forget every time because they're on the planet tank rack. These are bumblebee platies. Check these guys out. I can't believe I almost forgot to show you these. These, these guys are beautiful. It makes me want to actually breed them because I like breeding the live bears. Um, I haven't really had a ton of success breeding uh, like egg layers and stuff like that. But anyways, feedback is key, guys. If you would like to see us bring something in, drop it down in the comments. 
If you liked the video, make sure you drop a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't. I don't know. And uh, stay tuned for more content. I'm gonna be trying to put you know more videos out. And if you guys have something that you want me to make a video on, drop that down in the comments because I'd love to hear it. I'd love to do it. Um, and if it's something I can make a video on, absolutely. But I don't want to make a video on something that I'm not knowledgeable about. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. A great weekend. I'm going to try and get this video up today when I get home. But we'll see where the day takes me. Um, but you guys make it a great rest of your weekend. And I will catch you guys in the next one.